What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz with Perfumes by Genesis, AKA PBG. Welcome to another one of my videos. For those of you who know or may not know, I usually like to start off all of my videos with a quick and simple prayer. Please feel free to click the link in the description below to skip ahead to the beginning, the beginning of the video, excuse me. For those of you who are staying for the prayer, let's dive in. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for my viewers. Thank you so much for their lives. Thank you so much for our world, Lord. It's a very trying time and you know the things that are going on right now. So I just pray that you cover us in protection, in peace and in love. Cover us in your precious blood of peace, Lord. And I also wanna pray for the marriages, Lord. We know that you know th this time is really hard on people and their relationships and their, especially the marriages, Lord. So I pray that you bring your healing power over all the marriages in Jesus name. Amen. So today's video is going to be about an awesome Perfumes de Marley fragrance. This is my second Perfumes de Marley review and that is going to be none other than Galloway. Now Galloway is an awesome summertime fragrance guys. I don't have a full bottle. However, I do have this two mil, uh, this two mil sample from the Perfumes de Marley sample pack. Um, is actually from the master class. I still have all these samples left over and I decided, hey, let me go ahead and try this out. So this was my scent of the day for yesterday and I loved it. I like how this uh, fragrance makes me feel in the summertime. I really want a full bottle of this for myself, so I'm definitely gonna work towards that. But Galloway is an awesome fragrance, guys. It's a really nice citrus and kind of, it has this kind of herbaceous spiciness somewhere in the middle. It's a very nice fragrance. I have a little bit on my hand right now and, it, and it's very smooth. I, I almost feel like there's some smokiness in there. Um, Galloway is just a nice, uplifting, refreshing citrus scent. But here's the thing. It's not obviously citrus, it, which is weird. Like, you know, it's a citrus based fragrance. You can you can get that like citrus vibe from it. But let's say spraying something like Lone Medial Cologne or Terre de Hermes, like you're not going to get that level of like obvious citrus, if that makes sense. What you are going to get is a nice, clean spice. OK, like a clean summer spice. The citrus is like very very, in my opinion, very far kind of wrapped around that, um, that kind of spicy middle there. Nice, nice fragrance, guys. The color that it makes me think of is, I want to say white, but I feel like it does have the potential to be a blue fragrance. Now, Galloway is something you wear like, it, this is 100% beach cologne, okay? Or beach fragrance, whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use for it, okay? And it's really smooth, guys. It's a great vibe. In my opinion, you can wear this throughout the entire day for summer. I know some fragrances are more suited for the daytime and some fragrances are more suited for the nighttime, but Galloway is special. And that's why I really want a bottle. So out of all the perfumes de Marley fragrances I've smelled, guys, Galloway is probably my third must have bottle. First, it was Leighton. It just has a special effect on me. Herod, I don't need to say more on that. And finally, Galloway. Those are three bottles I really want to work hard to get. Kalan is also pretty cool, but the first three, in my opinion, I, I like them a lot better. So Galloway, awesome fragrance, guys. I highly recommend you guys go and check it out. Um, but I will give you guys some fun facts. So Galloway is actually named after a Scottish horse, okay? Now that horse, I believe, was bred around the 18th century and they used it to haul things like iron or i think it was like lead ore and uh, galloway is basically just that district in scotland that the horses were first bred so that's where that name galloway comes from unfortunately i think these horses are now extinct or nearing extinction and they're actually a result of two different breeds obviously um you know they're like a mix i think it's between a uh, spanish breed and the indigenous uh scottish breed so that is how we get the, uh, as we know it, Galloways or the Galloway horses. And I think it, it I think it is uh, alleged that Edward the first had tons of Galloway horses back in the day, uh, 18th century or whatever. But I'll show you guys a picture of the Galloway horse right there. Okay, guys. So as I always do, 
Let's get into my nose notes because I did take some notes on how I felt about Galloway. Now, before I get into that, this will last a very long time on your clothing. So when you wear a Galloway, don't be afraid to spray it on your clothing because I feel like with Parfums de Mali fragrances, in my opinion, um, all the ones that I've sampled and um, you know sampled on my skin, they don't have this crazy like punch you in the face projection but they have this nice trail and this nice sillage around you so i feel like in my opinion to my nose if you spray a little bit on your clothes it'll give it this boost right because your, your clothes are not going to evaporate they're not going to heat up um it's your skin and your body that's going to heat up when you're walking around or just your natural body temperature so if you put it in the fabric of your clothing and you spray it in a few places it'll just carry it and the fragrances are so strong Parfums de Marley fragrances are so nicely blended and very well concentrated. So definitely try them out, you know, spray them on your clothing. Be careful if you have white clothing because you don't want it to stain. But if you don't have, you're not wearing white clothing, then, you know, kind of do a little spritz maybe on the inside of your collar if you're wearing a collared shirt, whatever. Let's get into these nose notes. All right, guys, so for my nose notes, here's some of the things I wrote down with the things that came to mind. Um, about what it smelled like. Now, we haven't gotten into the notes yet. We're just gonna talk about what are my first impressions. So right off the bat, you you, you do get that uh, citrus DNA, but like I said, it's not the most obvious citrus. You, you, you'll you smell it, you'll feel it, you know? You'll, you'll be like, okay, this is like, this makes me feel a little citrusy, but it, you're not gonna smell like straight up orange, like the two fragrances I mentioned, Tierra d'Hermes or Lone Medial Cologne. Um, it's very clean, it's uplifting, okay? It's refreshing. It almost has this like kind of white sterile feeling to it. Now I know that doesn't make sense, but I'm just saying sterile as in like, it's just so clean. You know what I mean? It, I'm not saying sterile as in this is a boring fragrance. It's sterile just in the fact that it's really clean, like, like paper clean. Like, you know that smell that like fresh paper has, you know, it, it's not displeasing. It's just very like just vanilla and just very sterile. It's very, just it's just clean guys i mean what can i say it's a good fragrance go buy it yeah you know it just it feels almost like there's some sweet spice in the middle and i mentioned this little spiciness uh the spicy nature before that really shines in galloway and i feel like if you're someone that really likes those spice uh, more spice based fragrances you're gonna love this it's like it takes summer and it just adds a dash of spice in it and that's what it is summer with spice in a bottle I'm wondering if there's almost some oak moss in this fragrance because there's a little bit of green here in the middle, like a sweet green. And like I mentioned in the beginning, like an herbaceous spicy vibe. It makes the citrus that is kind of wrapped around in. And it also makes me think that there might be some rosemary or even some basil in this fragrance. I mean, it's just so well blended and it's so smooth. It's very clean, all day summer wear, 24 hour wear great fragrance you, you can't go wrong i would definitely blind buy this you, you really can't go wrong blind buying this in my opinion and um as i continue to smell it and the fragrance dries down i get a mild smokiness or incense like vibe that's just me because when i smell this it put me in the mindset of percival which i believe does have some incense or some smoke uh like a smoky vibe in there okay so it makes me think of the color white galloway but it can also be possibly a blue fragrance, but it's more on the white side. So that's the color it makes me think of. And yeah, great fragrance guys. So yeah, it's a great fragrance. Those are my nose notes on just some initial impressions. I do like how the fragrance develops throughout the day. In my experience, it does not change too much, um, but that's okay because I love the way it continues to keep its smell throughout the entire day. I love it. I love the way the spice is done in this fragrance. I I'm not the most spice loving fragrance guy, but for Galloway, it's a win. Okay guys, so let's dive into the official notes last. So in the top, we're gonna have some citrus and some pepper. In the heart, we're gonna have some iris and orange blossom. In the base, we're gonna have some musk and amber. And Galloway came out in 2014, guys. It was released, I believe, with Darcy. Uh, so Darcy and Galloway were both released the same year in 2014. And it's a wonderful unisex summertime and springtime fragrance. So yeah, guys, so as I said before, 
You can wear this fragrance, you'll smell it on you all day, okay? It'll last all day. In terms of that projection and that sillage, I'm not 100% sure only because I only have so much to work with here. So I can't really get to spray a lot on. I mean, I can do a tons of spritzes, which I've done before, but it, in my opinion, it's just not the same. I can't, you can't get like a big monster cloud, but honestly, I smelled this on my skin all day, okay? And maybe it didn't project or have the most crazy sillage. Again, I'm still socially distancing and quarantining, um, even though things are opening back up. So it's hard to really get a full um, accurate reading. But I think you're gonna be very pleased with the performance either way. It's not a weak fragrance at all. It's not beast mode in the sense where it just smacks you in the face, but it's a great fragrance for the summer, um, summertime chill. Um, you know, it just makes me picture like you're on a hammock you know, by a hut or just on a beach in a hammock, you might got some white shorts on, some flip flops, and you smell like Galloway, you know, or you're wearing some white shirt, uh, like some uh, white shorts, excuse me, going to a cookout uh, with some friends of yours or, you know, whatever, this is a good fragrance to put on, especially for like, you know, social occasions. Well, that was my review of Perfumes de Marley Galloway. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite Perfumes of Marley fragrance is and how you think uh, Perfumes of Marley Galloway fares off against some other Perfumes of Marley fragrances. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how I can make this video as well as future vi videos better. Thank you so much for watching. And one quick thing before I let you guys go. I know it's been a while uh, since I came out with any uploads and releases and I am so grateful for my viewers that have continued to view my content and all my new subscribers that have continued to come um, amidst this week of silence. Uh, it's been a very tragic time for us in this country and you know for our fellow African American peers and what's going on in the media it really does break my heart and it's tragic. So if you are a praying person I highly encourage you to pray. Um, Pray for our country, pray for those who are in constant fear or in danger or, or the families of those who have lost their lives for foolishness. Um, it's really, it's really important. And, um, you know, I just took some time to really just, you know, sit with myself and process with my wife. And, you know, that's why I haven't been coming out with a lot of content lately. So thank you so much for your patience. Um, please pray for our country, pray for human beings and our hearts to just be more reconciled and for more justice to happen in this country. So I, I do appreciate it. And unfortunately, I, hopefully I didn't offend anyone with that. And if I did, then I guess you're not the type of person I would want um, around my content. So um, thank you so much. I love you guys all and um, take care. Have a blessed day.